Hey, how's it going guys? I just want to throw up a quick little video because I stumbled onto a fix for my lag problems in Diablo 4. Uh, ever since open beta, pretty much the whole time I've been playing the game, I've been struggling with rubber, horrible rubber branding, massive lag spikes up to like 1000, 2000 MS. Game is pretty much totally unplayable for most of the time, at least like 90% of the time. And uh, yeah, it was no credit to this. I didn't figure it out myself. I was watching a YouTube video. I think it was a Digital Foundry video and, and uh, one of the guys there mentioned it, but uh, I couldn't find this fix anywhere. I've been in the forums, I've been in Reddit, I've been all over the place trying to figure out what's going on. And no one mentioned this. Everyone's just always, as usual, they're kind of like, you know, mine, mine is fine, it must be your fault. <laughs> the game's fine, it's perfectly fine. But um, yeah, this worked for me. So maybe you guys, if you're having trouble, give it a try. Anyways, if you're playing on Windows, this, this pertains to Windows. So what you do is you go into settings and you go into network and internet and you go to your ethernet card, go to the ethernet and then find your, whatever you're using and make sure you set it to public. If it's set to private, it's broken. Basically, at least for me, whatever configuration is causing it, I don't know. But if I set it to private, the game doesn't work. And if you set it to public, Perfectly fine. It's been an hour and a half or so this morning I've been playing, and I haven't seen my MS fluctuate more than like three milliseconds most. Normally it, you know, it would not stay at 40, 49 for more than a few seconds. And anytime I approach a crowd or do basically do anything in the game, get massive spikes, even as low as 200 would be unplayable, just rubber banding and characters sliding all over the screen and taking you know, a couple seconds to respond to inputs and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's been a great help. Shout out to, to the guys at Digital Foundry. It's a huge help. Couldn't find that information anywhere. And it basically fixed my problem. I mean, I'm uh, not 100% sure yet. But it has been an hour, so... It would be strange if this was the first time since, you know, purchasing the game, including open beta, before I purchased the game, that it's played at all. And it was immediately as soon as I tried that fix. So I think that's going to be the, the solution. I'll right, give it a try. If you guys are having trouble, give it a try. Hopefully it'll help for you too, you know. But yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to get that info out there. I've been making so many videos complaining <laughs> about the lag. And I figured it's only right to make one showing the fix. And uh, if anyone happens to see it and helps them, more than glad to help, you know. But yeah, as you can see, seems pretty good. Oh, that was my biggest spike yet to 54. <laughs> From 49 up to 54 milliseconds, so pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, you guys take care. Have a great one. Hopefully that helps you, and uh, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the game. <laughs> I'm going to do the best I can to do so now that it's actually working. All right, take care, guys.